Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another video on Pokemon Sleep. Today we are focusing on just one thing, we are talking about the Helper Whistle item uh, and how and when to best use it. Now you can get these uh, Helper Whistles by ranking up, by leveling up your player rank. So I'm going to refer to these uh, level up rewards um, listed on Cerebi.net, one of our favorite re resources for finding out information on this game. Uh, for example, at level rank 10, you will start getting these helper whistles. Uh, what they do is they, uh, when you activate the helper whistle, you'll get three hours worth of berries and ingredients and your Pokemon will not lose energy over it. So it's literally just um, like a, a, an extra amount of berries and ingredients. Now there's two smart ways to use it in my opinion. One is you can use it at the start of the week so that your rank is boosted from the start of the week. It, uh, it accumulates, the, the, the strength is cumulative. Therefore, uh, in the subsequent days, you'll have a higher rank for your, for your sleep research as well. Um, but the way I prefer to use it is I like to save it for the last day to see how far along my rank, my my Snorlax strength tier is. So right now I'm on, I'm on master two and I've already fed dinner for Sunday. That means I, if you look at my, my rank here, you'll see that I'm actually quite close to the next level, the next tier, but there's no way for me to reach the next tier now that I've fed the Snorlax, so to go from Master 2 to Master 3, there's no way for me to reach the next tier unless I were to not sleep tonight and just wait for these berries to be collected. But even then, look at how tired my Pokemon are. We know that the more tired they are, the lower the energy, the slower they farm as well. So this is not boding well for me at this stage, is that I've, I've actually almost reached the next tier but didn't quite get there. Now, if you look at my, my actual strength, you'll see that I'm on 248,000 and I'm actually not that far away from Master 3. So this is a good time to consider using a helper whistle to help you finish off that last little bit that you couldn't normally do. So this is why I like to save it for the last day, but of course I missed out on the bonus from this for the rest of the week earlier on. So now I'm gonna show you guys when I use the helper whistle and it will come up, it will come as like a delivery box and I open that. Now take a look at the berries that come out. These are actually my favorite berries and that's because, that's because if you look at these berries, these are actually my favorite berries that have come up and that's because it's related to the Pokemon who are currently farming. So the Helper Whistle is my current team Pokemon's um, farming abilities reflected. So the berries and the ingredients. Therefore, it is best to use it when you have a team that is actually serving favorite berries at the time. It wouldn't make sense for you to use, you to use the Helper Whistle if you weren't uh, uh, feeding favorite berries to Snorlax. Now here, I'm just hoping that I'll reach I'll reach, I didn't actually do the maths, uh, but I'm hoping I'll reach 253,000. Um, if I don't, it'll be very, very sad. But you you guys will learn from my mistake. Uh, I, I purposely waited till the last day to use this helper whistle to see if I can purposely reach the tier after my, my last dinner, uh, the next tier after my last dinner. So we've got 15 more to go. And Snorlax is still eating 12 more berries. I'm a little bit worried now. I'm sweating and I don't think I'm going to make it to the next tier. And now we're down to two berries, one berry. I made a grave error. Don't do what I did. But now you can get an idea of how much strength the Helper Whistle actually provides you. So if you remember my points earlier on, I needed about 5,000. And I got about 4,000. So this is actually really sad. Now, as an emergency, and I don't recommend this normally, under normal circumstances, don't do this. But as an emergency, and you feel like you got totally ripped off, 
you can spend some diamonds to buy the helper whistle. It is 200 diamonds. It's not cheap. It is 200 diamonds, or you can get it in this Snorlax bundle as well. So you can get a helper whistle uh, in worst case scenario on this last day before the week turns over and all the Snorlax strength restarts again if you really need to push for the next tier. Now, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to purchase a bundle. I don't normally recommend this. I recommend saving your diamonds for these upgrade expansions um, on your storage. Uh, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to sacrifice 600 of my gems just so I can get one more helper whistle and finish off the, the Snorlax strength tier for this week. So I got another three hours worth. Uh, that was not worth it. I should have saved both whistles or just the original whistle altogether for another week. But now we know uh, what or how much strength uh, helper whistle can provide but of course it depends on whether you're on favorite berries and it depends on your pokemon's rp your pokemon's uh, actual strength because the higher your pokemon's level the higher the rp the the more strength snorlax will get per berry as well so it depend on all of that as well so the later game you'll actually get more strength for three hours worth of berries than earlier game if you're running a team full of level 100s, hypothetically, it would be well over 4,000 in strength. Whereas if you're running a team similar to mine, where they're all close to about the level 10 range, and they are doing favorite berries, you're going to get approximately 4,000 points. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Um, I feel a little bit shafted after this, but hopefully it's helped you guys so then it didn't go to waste. Thank you for watching guys. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you need to drop your friend code on our Discord, uh, come along. I'll leave a link in the description below. And don't forget, we have now a Rate My Mon chat, which you can use uh, to post a screenshot of what Pokemon you've caught and our community will gather and help you out and decide whether that Pokemon is worth keeping or worth investing.